I really don't know why I'm here, because Vince didn't like me, at least at the beginning. And uh, because uh, I breezed into New Haven uh, in, I don't remember what year, just when he had established a kind of master plan for the downtown area. And I arrived with the Knights of Columbus and plopped it in there and a couple of other things. And for several reasons, he didn't like the Knights of Columbus building. But he, um, we sort of stayed away from each other for a long time. And then he, um, we moved to a little uh, cottage on the, on the water, just on the bay. And we would go out there every summer with our children. And there was this man who rode past every Sunday. And it turned out to be Vince. And he was rowing a very expensive um, kind of professional boat uh, with long, very long oars. And after a few years, we started to wave to each other. And then he would occasionally come and play with the children, which is very nice, it's very, very sweet. So we got to be good friends. But our start was uneven because I really didn't have any sense of what was going on. Just to explain how I got here in the first place, uh, I was at school in Dublin during the war. Ireland was not involved in the war. So I graduated just as the war finished. And I felt I had to get out and go somewhere. And I went to London to Maxwell Fry and Jane Drew, who were then the leading architects. And then he went back and decided I would come to America. The question is, where now? When I was at Maxwell Fry's, I saw a magazine which was lauding and at least found her role very much. And I said, well, I've got to study with him. And so I, when I got back to Dublin, I applied to Yale, Harvard, and IIT, where Mies was. And incredibly, I was accepted at all three. And I can't imagine why, because I didn't have much that to show. But I decided to go with Mies. And just a brief story there. For about four months, he never talked to us. And then the, we got a little problem to design a house. And this was in mid midwinter in Chicago, and the snow was about six feet deep. And everybody designed flat roofed houses. But I thought, well, you know, in Scandinavia, they wouldn't do that. Why, they, why can't you do a pitch roof house get rid of the snow? And so me looked briefly at it. And he said, you could do that, but I would not do that, you know. <laughs> and so I decided it was time to move on. <laughs> and I did, and uh, then joined Aerosarn and had a wonderful 10 years. I saw that when I came here, I was carrying all of Aero's buildings because he died before he, he had planned to move from uh, to try to where we were to here. And I had ended up with the responsibility to complete, to complete six of his buildings. And I brought all of that here and breezed into New Haven with all these ideas. And I sat beside a man on the plane coming here and very nice when it turned out he was the mayor. And when I got off the plane, I had the Knights of Columbus building and a new school in my pocket. So I thought, gee, this is a nice place. <laughs> you know, easy to get work. But then I ran sort of into Vince, and he couldn't understand what the hell I was trying to do. And we didn't speak to each other or inadvertently 
wrote each other for a couple of years, and then uh, we, I don't know if I mentioned this, but we got a cottage where he would roll past and come on and sometimes meet the children. So we got to be good friends, and he was a very charming, very articulate, very wonderful person, and I agreed to do this even though he would have preferred, I'm sure, that I just go back and sh sit down and shut up. <laughs>